Hello, I'm Janet Weinthal, student president of the 4FAU High and 80 Henderson Middle School CL teams. We are participating in Sea Perch, a national competition in which students build and design underwater remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, and learn STEM concepts and technical skills. We have a total of 16 members and 3 adult mentors. Our members range from 7th to 11th graders. New High is a lab school in which students are fully dual enrolled and may earn college degrees by the time they graduate high school. FAU High is associated with A.D. Henderson Middle School. Our team has been given the honor to represent the USSCL, a submarine that served from 1944 to 1969 and earned five battle stars for her service in World War II. We would not be half as successful without the USSCL Association's support. Last year, we won third place at our regional competition and were honored to advance the national competition in Indianapolis. We worked hard to create an innovative design that attracted a great deal of attention and we truly enjoyed ourselves. Out of 84 other teams, we won eighth place overall, first place in presentation, and the Technical Director's Award for Design. As always, teams must navigate their ROV through an obstacle course as quickly as possible. But this year, the real challenge is the heist, in which teams must open a latch, push open a door, dive to retrieve boxes of different weights, and then return through the door and deposit the boxes on the other side. We CLs believe in the power of hard work, dedication, and teamwork. Every single one of our members, both in middle and high school, work together on sea perch for hours on end, almost every day of the week, and even sometimes on weekends. We just recently visited Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University for the Florida Regional Competition. All four teams did their very best, and here is CLS 8 navigating the obstacle course challenge at competition. In the end, CLs 7 won third place and CLs 8 won second place in middle school, while CLs SS405 won second place in high school, and CLs Baleo did exceptionally well in presentation. We owe our success to our innovative and efficient designs that go above and beyond. We started with the base sea perch design but quickly decided to improve it. Here is our ROV last year, tickling rings off the rack with zip tie mohawks so that way we could then more easily pick them up with a hook off the bottom of the floor. This design was extraordinarily efficient and unlike any other teams. This year, we experimented with 3D printing our entire ROV, but the result was too fragile and unbalanced. We then incorporated 3D printed parts into our designs, and we now have two hooks that are each optimized for opening the door or picking up boxes. Our middle school teams also have extraordinary designs. But our ROVs have specific features that make them exceptional. We've extensively tested propellers of various sizes, pitch, and blade count, and have incorporated our findings into our ROV. More than propellers, we've also been designing, testing, and 3D printing cowlings designed to protect the propellers and increase the efficiency of the thrusters. But the best part of our ROV is the variable buoyancy control system. We use aquazucas to pump air through aquarium tubing into bladders attached to each team's ROV. The bladders allow us to create positive or negative buoyancy to rise and sink faster, and also to lift up the extra weight of the boxes. Our primary focus is trickle-down engineering education, for which we have recently won a grant from FAU's Department of Undergraduate Research. The high school teams are the primary mentors and supervisors for the middle schoolers. We teach them the STEM concepts and skills that we have learned. We've taught them to safely use power tools to solder, to pack motors. We really just want to inspire them to pursue careers in engineering, and I am so proud of all their hard work. Being in Sea Perch has taught me that you need more than one person to overcome obstacles. Perch. My favorite part about Sea Perch is being able to be creative and designing the ROV and getting to hang out with my friends. Sea Perch has inspired me to do more things in the oceanic engineering field. Even our high schoolers learn from this experience. Sea Perch has taught me valuable lessons that I will use in the field of mechanical engineering later on in my life. Working with and teaching the middle school students was a great experience and helped me to develop my time management skills. We have also worked with elementary schoolers, showing them the ROV and explaining it in very basic terms. In two weeks, we will be teaching the entire 7th grade class at A.D. Henderson Middle School and have received a grant of many Sea Perch kits from the Sea Perch organization to do so. 
Our learning doesn't stop there. Last year, my team visited FAU's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute to meet with their engineers and learn about their professional ROVs and submarines. We hope to make another trip this year to either Harbor Branch or another sponsor's site. We have also been working extensively with Dr. Ahn, an FAU engineer. He has been instrumental and has guided the direction of our research. We are hoping to work with even more engineers from FAU and from our sponsors. This year, we are fortunate enough to have won a spot at the national competition. We will be flying a middle school team, a high school team, and five mentor chaperones to the University of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg. We are working hard on improving our design even further and will unveil some new technical improvements and advancements there. I'd like to thank our many fantastic sponsors to which we owe our success. Advanced Green Technologies. Advanced Roofing. Resolve Marine Group, Do It Best Hardware, Re-Air Autonomous Systems, FAU's Harbor Branch, and of course, the FAU College of Education and FAU's College of Engineering and Computer Science.